uh, hi guys in this tutorial we'll discuss how to locate web element using tag name so uh, for example i just want to show you here you can go uh, on this site indeed.com on this url you can see here we can have number of uh, tags uh, which are like starting with like input or text area uh, like uh, text area i can't see here but uh, anchor tag i can see like these links are there but uh, input text i can see these uh, text box are there so uh, i like in this tutorial I'll let you know how to identify or locate those uh, uh, like how many tag uh, i mean web elements are there which are starting with a specific tag name right so uh, we are done with the setup and all that like in our previous tutorials we have covered we have already covered like uh, how to locate web elements by id by xpath by name and in this tutorial we'll discuss how to locate web element by tag name so this fourth one we'll discuss right so here we go and uh, here uh, it's my project so i'm putting in this project so what we will do we'll create a java class so as I already told you in this project we don't need to install or like uh, import those uh, uh, selenium jar files because we already did that uh, for that we can see this reference libraries folder this is uh, like uh, this is being created only when we are importing those uh, files right jar files so now we can uh, directly start with like uh, creating a uh, java class or class and uh, <coughs> uh let me do one thing uh let me close these things uh, so that it will not confuse you like we already covered these things okay so let me keep one or you can do one thing this right so i'm going to create a new java class uh this <coughs> so we need to give a name to this class like uh by i'm simply giving the same name by tag name tag name so this is uh, our class name and we are putting uh, like the main method in this class generate so now we are done writing <coughs> here we can start writing our script so first of all we need to do the same thing we need to uh, create an instance or a, a web driver so web driver equal to firefox So <clears throat> I already told you if we are seeing these uh, red lines uh, below these things so these are the classes which we are mentioned in these packages so we need to import this package selenium open uh, QA selenium group web driver and this is in firefox class uh, so here in this package so you can see here this in this package this class is there so now uh, the, it will launch the uh, like web browser then we need to pass the url to driver dot get so get is like is a function java function which will take uh, the string name url as a string so http right <coughs> so now we'll maximize the window So we are done now. Uh, we have opened the window. So let me put some wait command. See, so we can pass the how many seconds? So I'm waiting for four seconds, right? So it will throw an exception as we already told you, like I already told you. So we can click on this and we can start either this or this thing, right? Now the next step so once we have opened the uh, indeed site we need to uh, find like uh, so there is a web element by tag name so what we can see here so let me go and open this sorry and this oh no we know we need to click on this inspect element and click on this once you click on this you can see this is input tag 
so the what is the name of this tag it's input tag so i'll identify all those uh, tags i'll uh, like how, see how many tags are there with the name input okay <coughs> so uh, we can go here so driver dot find element Uh, by dot tag name so this one uh, by an input so tag name is input right so if you see here it's a input is the name of this tag so here you can see uh, this will return a web element right because uh, this is we use this method find element if we we'll use find elements instead of this then it will return all the uh, tags which are having name as input so uh, let me do one thing first see here if you we'll click on this it is showing that it's returning web element right so uh, let me do web t one equal to this so we need to import this uh, from this package class and now we are done we can uh, print as dot print element <coughs> okay and uh, here you can see uh, e and t1 right so now we can and, uh, after some waiting some seconds do it i will try dot sleep suppose five seconds we'll close the browser window driver dot close so it will close the current instance of the browser window uh, now we will run this so it will return only one element right so we can run a java application uh, then we'll see how to uh, get all the tag names like uh, which are starting with a specific tag like uh, for example we can say input or text area or uh, as an anchor tag <coughs> so let's see the result of this uh, script done after five seconds it will close this uh, browser window and it will print the result on the console so here you can see it uh, returns the input uh, tag right so uh, don't worry about this it's a handle for the window which is open so for all the windows like uh, this uh, web driver is turning a, a window handle right which we will discuss in our upcoming tutorials so now it's a returning only one tag which is like the first tag which is uh, input tag now i want to see all the uh, input tags right so <coughs> what i'll do i'll copy and paste the same line of code control v and uh, we'll put as find elements right so it will return a list of web elements it will not return a web element it will return a list of web elements means all the uh, web elements which has a tag name as input so here we can change the return type list right and now we need to import this package uh, java.util okay so now uh, we'll go here we'll see uh, how many elements are there so for this uh, let's see int total, total equal to so in this list how many elements are there elmts elements elmt element one dot size so size what will do it will return the uh, list of this size or oh, size of this list sorry elmts one so let's see how many elements are there we can print uh, in this we can pass to total 
uh, elements total web starting with tag name uh, input okay uh, plus and total right so now we'll see how many uh, why it is showing this uh, warning message so we can remove this because now we are not using this since we have made this line as a comment so we can remove or other we can keep it it doesn't matter right so we'll run this again run as a javascript java application sorry and we'll see the result uh, like now it will show us the number of web elements which has a tag name input <coughs> Here we go. Well, now after five seconds, it will close this window, and uh, in console, we'll see how many elements it's returning. See here, uh, total elements, total web elements, starting with tag name in, uh, like tag name input, equal to three. So I can put here equal. So total uh, web elements are three, which has uh, like tag name as input. So in this way, we can see how many uh, like web elements are there, which are starting with anchor tab, right? So here I can show you like we have three input tags. One is this one, and second is this one. So if we click on this, uh, or we can go here like in this TD class, and then in this TD class. And go to Spain here is the second one you can see it's a selected and uh, if we we'll move to the third TD tab TD is table data <coughs> so here in this uh, Spain you can see this is the last for button so we have three uh, tags which has the tag name as input so now you are aware how to get the web elements using or uh, by using tag name uh, thanks for watching if you like it please uh, uh, subscribe this tutorial and uh, <coughs> like this please uh, be in touch for the upcoming tutorial we will we'll see how to get uh, or locate web elements using class name uh, the fifth one thanks for watching have a good day